passenger in Toronto's subway sent me a couple of pictures of ads on display in the subway system. Here's one. Is Jesus God? Bible and Quran say no. Discover the truth. And then it gives a link to a Muslim propaganda website. Wow, I didn't know that the Bible said Jesus was not God or the Son of God, I guess. That's a new one, quoting the Bible as a way to delegitimize Jesus. And here's another subway ad by the same group saying that Jesus was no more than a messenger of the Muslim god Allah. Now, obviously, I'm for freedom of speech and the separation of church and state. If someone wants to say they don't believe in Jesus or the Christian Bible or Christianity, that's what freedom's about. And it doesn't even particularly bug me that these ideological messages are appearing in a government-owned subway on government-run ad spaces. Maybe it would bother me more if I were Christian. Maybe it would bother me more if they attacked Judaism or the Jewish Torah. But probably not so much that I want them banned. But let's do a thought experiment here. Let's pretend that those ads instead said, was Allah God? Or was Mohammed a fraud? Discover the truth. And then a link to a website trying to convert Muslims to Christianity. Same messages, same wording, just flipped around. First of all, I genuinely believe the Toronto Transit Commission would ban those ads. I truly believe it. That's what Edmonton's Transit Authority did to Pamela Geller when she wanted to run anti-jihad ads there. Second, I think those ads would be vandalized, perhaps even by TTC staff themselves, maybe even by this guy while wearing his transit uniform, boasts about wanting to kill all of Israel. Take a look. There should be a free Gaza, free Palestine. And if they continue now, from we will go from here, there, and we we'll kill the Israel. We're gonna kill that all Israel, and we're gonna show the power what we can do further. Thank you. Yeah, he seems nice. And even if the Toronto Transit Commission were to put up the ad, and even if some radical Muslim didn't vandalize it or tear it down, you just know that the Human Rights Commission would launch an investigation alleging Islamophobia. What? Do you doubt me? Look, there's a good rule of thumb to see who is in control of you, and it's this. Who are you not allowed to criticize? In the world, in the West, increasingly in Canada, it's Islam. And if you deny it, is it because you really doubt it? Or is it because you're afraid to say it? For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm Ezra Levant.